The next one is Huygens wave theory. So he is a Dutch scientist. In 1676, Newton's prediction of the particle nature was derived. But in 1678, some modifications did by Christian Huygens. What are the modifications? First one, light is a wave form or light can travel in a form of wave. So light is traveling in a form of wave. That is the first prediction. Okay. Second one, if light is a wave, if it is traveling from one point to another point, there should be some medium to propagate the light. And that medium is uniformly distributed and which has uniform thickness and uniform density or mostly the density and thickness of the medium is negligible but it is universally distributed. So this name is ether. This is the prediction did by Huygens means what we can uh, write as a point when light is uh, traveling in a form of wave there is a medium called ether which is light density and light thickness which is uniformly distributed over the world through that propagation of wave is taken place so there is a medium called ether which is less density or we can write uniform density or uniform thickness which is equally occupied or uniformly distributed in the world or the space through that light is traveling less density or uniform density this is one more point and third one, this light can travel to all directions with the velocity of wave. To all directions with the velocity of wave. This is one of the important point for this one and one more what we can write is he and simply he said that uh, some of the Newton's predictions are true first one is uh, the the point which he added from the Newton's theory is uh, it has enormous velocity and its velocity w uh, will change from one point to another point or one medium to another medium this is also one of the prediction did by the Huygens which is comparably true with the Newton's. The next concept in the Huygens theory is the wave lengths of different colors. Different colors has different wavelengths. The fifth one actually Huygens predicted that light is a longitudinal wave but afterwards the ex many experiments proved that light is a transverse wave. Initially light is assumed as longitudinal. Later, it was proved as transverse, but later it was proved as transverse, means transverse in nature. The medium what he assumed ether is high elastic but low density. The ether medium is 
is highly elastic but low in density or less in density Huygens can uh, his prediction Huygens explained the reflection of light refraction of light polarization of the light dif diffraction interference but for him it is very difficult to understand the Compton effect and photoelectric effect these two things he didn't uh, concluded in a brief way that is a very very important point that is a drawback in the Huygens theory so he proved all he proved all main characteristics of light what are the main characteristics of light reflection refraction interference diffraction but he couldn't explain the compton scattering and photoelectric effect explain the photoelectric effect and compton scattering this is very very important one to understand and one more the wave theory of the huygens was started with a concept called wave front so it is a wave front concept so what is the wave front how it forms what are the characteristics of the wave front we will see so what is wave front suppose in our childhood or uh, now also we can do one a small thing it is a calm river or a calm pond which is in a village a river water or a rainy water which was stored in a level of pond it was calm actually suppose if a stone is dropped at one point in that calm pond or a calm river we can see the wave formation up to some extent the stone where it is dropped is called the source of the disturbance or source of the wave but the source of wave creating the wave which can extend to the long distance with same phase it can form in a sharp shape of circles a uniform circles or concentric circles with respect to a common origin the common origin is like a point of disturbance this is the common understanding about the wave front but how can you conclude this wave front to the propagation of light so we will see now let us suppose this is the point of disturbance this point of disturbance is called as source of the wave front that's why i'm naming this one as yes source so whenever a disturbance was taken place at this point waves will be generated and this waves will create a circular path around it like this from this we can draw some arrow marks let us write p q r I try to we can try to imagine that waves will transfer to the long distance sp or sq or sr is called the directions of the light propagation directions of propagation of light we can say this one as this so whenever this directions of propagation of light is like this so what we can understand where yes is the source now how can we identify or define the wave front yes 
with respect to this source i am drawing a line which is in the dotted shape so the lines which i have drawn at any point on the given surface with respect to, to the source of the wave or source of the disturbance in the medium is called wave front and along this wave front all light particles will vibrate with same phase vibrating with same phase continue so what is the definition of the wave front a surface so it is a surface which is drawn at any instant in the medium which is drawn at any instant in the medium which is drawn at any instant in the medium with respect to to a point source or source of the disturbance so from a source of disturbance from a source of disturbance where all the light particles have in same phase where all particles of light in same phase this is called wave front wave front means is yes, this is the locus of all the points and along this curve or along this circular path all the light particles are with the same phase and same velocity and this is an imaginary surface which is drawn in a plane to understand the propagation of light at any given instant in the plane so this is called wave front here s is the source of light where sp sq sr is the directions of propagation of light so for this wave friends if you draw any perpendicular line in any direction this is the direction of propagation of light and one more point we can understand in this wave front is in the wave friends the light particles will have the same phase same velocity and same velocity now i will see from point source how much is how the wave fronts will appear from line source what is the wave sent wave fronts are appeared next is secondary wave front now wave fronts at different cases with respect to the shape of the source there is a different shape of the wave fronts first one if source is a point source so what is the meaning of point source just a river which is in a calm state a stone is dropped at that point and that that point waves are started so this type of sources are called point sources in this type of point sources when light is coming out of a point source then wave fronts will be appeared as a concentric circles when light is emitted from a point source if you like this video please give a thumbs up Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.